Still awaiting the game's first goal. Through center comes Ethan Jones over the Chilliwack line. Dawson Tritt trying to go for it. Centering feet. Now they score. Nice shot there by Mitch Dielstra in the right circle. And he beats Nolan Hildebrand high over the shoulder. And the Bulldogs, right as the power play had expired, get on the board first. It's 1-0 Alberti Valley. That's the sixth goal of the season for Dielstra, who looked like he does that for a living based on that shot. Perfect shot to the top. If you're the goaltender, I believe, over the left shoulder, as we saw Hildebrand go down to his knees, and uh, Alberni Valley takes a 1-0 lead with 10.42 to go in the first period. Should have Brindamore got a stick on that, but it looked like it changed directions. Below the goal line now on the right wing corner. Brindamore sends it back to the right point for T-Sync. Now for Matt Holmes, left point. Back in the middle for T-Sync. Throws it towards goal. They score! That time it did get redirected. And was it Skyler Brindamore? Maybe Kevin Wall? One of those two in front. I think it was Skyler Brindamore. Nonetheless, the Chiefs get a power play goal and have tied this game. Might have hit a couple guys in front of the net. Brindamore leads a parade back to the bench for the glove tap. Spencer Hora, Willits has it down low in the right corner. Cole Donhauser now for Willits again, centering feet in front. Donhauser holds, shoots, he scores! Good work down low below the goal line as Willits fending off the attackers and buys himself some space, gets it on the tape of Cole Donhauser who puts home his sixth of the season, and the Chiefs jump out in front, it's 2-1. Yeah, you can see that play starts behind the net, and Cole Donhauser takes that pass and just outweights the goaltender who was down early on that play. And the Chiefs have their first lead of this game. It's 2-1 Chilliwack with 12-20. Ryan Miotto quickly through center on the left wing side. Drops it off for Jackson Doucette, and they score! On the far right wing side, it gets to Keaton Master Donato. And just like that, on the very next shift, the Bulldogs answer back and tie the game at two. In tight, used his nine iron straight up into the top of the net. Perfect pass, perfect redirection. See a nice job there getting a stick on it. And we're back tied, this time 2-2 with 11-16. So a minute and six seconds, I believe. 66 seconds between those two goals. Seventh of the season for Master Donato. Ryan Miotto will get, stays in the zone. Here's Ethan Bowen. Bowen now for Kevin Wall. Slows the pace down. Wall, one touch pass Morocco. Sends a wrist shot, scores! It's a water bottle popper for Alexander Morocco. And the Chiefs got another power play goal. It's 3-2. That's Morocco's second of the season. A laser beam from the left point. And it gives the Chiefs a 3-2 lead, which comes with 5.30 to go here in this second period. And the Chiefs power play now two for three on the night. Alberni Valley stealing it again. Here's Valent, his shot, and they score. Off the rebound again, Alberni Valley comes back on the ensuing shift 30 seconds later, and we're tied at three again. Well, this is uh, definitely a back and back, back and forth affair now here. We're tied with that goal coming just 30 seconds after the Chiefs took a 3-2 lead. We're tied at three. A great uh, puck pursuit again by the Bulldogs. And you can see Hildebrand just That's missed. terrible rebound control, though. Just missed getting his stick on that to poke that puck to the corner. And if he had, it would have been... A Master Donato, rink wide for Ryan Miotto. Through center over the line. Cuts to the middle. Back hands it down low. Doucette in the middle. Master Donato scores. Right through the legs of Nolan Hildebrand, who has not looked sharp at all in this hockey game. And that's back-to-back -back shots that he's let in. And Alberni Valley jumps back out into the lead. 4-3 with just over three minutes to go. 3-0-3 to be exact. Nice setup. Nice finish. 
Once that stick comes up off the ice, that opens up the area between the legs along the ice, and that's exactly where the puck went. Now for Matt Holmes, through center on the left wing side. Nice feed for Brindamore, moving in on goal. Brindamore to the front of the net. Rebound, they score! Kevin Wall! Great net front presence by Skyler Brindamore as he had a beat to the front of the goal mouth. Demers came out to challenge, but the rebound right to Kevin Wall, and the BCHL goal scoring leader puts home his 18th of the season, and we're back even at four. Well, you called it perfectly there, Vonnie. Skyler Brindamore taking that puck to the dangerous area, and while he didn't get the goal, he will pick up an assist. Gentilowak not in action after today until next Monday. That's a day after Remembrance Day, 12.30 afternoon start in Surrey. Here's a quick shot, Wall scores! 38 seconds in this third, Wall gets another quick one, second of the night, 19th of the season, and it's 5-4 Chiefs. Just like that, the puck was on his stick just in front, and just like that, it was in the back of the net. This kid can score goals. No one scored more this year in the BCHL thus far. That is his 19th of the season. Great work to take the hit to make the play. And I believe that, is that Morocco? No, sorry, it's Brindamore. I caught, missed the first number on the back of his jersey. Brindamore with a nice setup there for Wall's league leading at 19th of the season. Holmes making moves, trying to step around Aaron Bollinger and he can't. Kevin Wall now down low. Here's Brindamore, backhand scores! My goodness, this line is on fire this afternoon. There's another one. Skyler Brindamore, his second of the afternoon, and it's 6-4 Chiefs, their biggest lead of the night. Love it to see a player use his backhand rather than trying to finagle it to his forehand here. Brindamore finds the top corner, and we have ourselves a two-goal lead for one of these teams. It's Chilliwack with a 6-4 lead as that literally popped the water bottle off the top of the net. And we're going to see John Hawthorne, I believe, take over. Blaisdell circles the net below the goal line. Carter Wilkie making moves. He's knocked down to the ice. Now Ethan Bowen helps out, takes the puck, walks to the middle. Bowen on the backhand in front. Wilkie shoots, he scores! <laughs> Great patience with the puck by the youngster, Ethan Bowen, to set that one up, and he carried that puck from behind the goal line out in front, and instead of just throwing it at the net, he, he saw Carter Wilkie camped in front. You could actually see Wilkie starts that play getting drawn down, and then he hit, lets Ethan Bowen carry it in front while he heads towards the front of that net. Bowen, you can see, it's a no-look pass. He never actually looks over to see that Wilkie's there. He just knew he was. And the Chiefs now have a three-goal lead, seven. Chiefs win it seven to four. Backed by a 14-point combined performance by Kevin Wall, Skyler Brindamore, and Matt Holmes. We'll talk about that in our post-game show. As it was quite the night for that line. You know, Kawaguchi had himself some big nights, but I don't remember a line combining for that many as we get the Horn salute as Chilliwack skates around the center ice area, raising their sticks to the fans. They respond with a round of applause as they exit the building. 17-7 with the shots on goal favoring the Chiefs in that third period. 